Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadadia and today we are going to solve important sums of quadratic equation by factorization and also by quadratic formula. I am going to solve both this question by quadratic formula also and by factorization also. So before starting this, let me tell you I had started my new channel in Hindi also. So you can learn in Hindi also, link is given in the description, you can go there and check my channel. And I am also teaching live on Unacademy for free guys. So you can join me there also and link is in the description. Now let us start with question number one. So first I am going to solve this question by factorization. So what you need to do actually we were, we were doing splitting the middle term in factorization. So here also we are going to do the same but you can see here in C you are having A square minus B square. So we are going to find out factor of this also separately. So let me start with the first step. First of all 4x square plus 4bx minus. You need to find out factors of this. a minus b. a plus. Now you have to see the middle term. You can see 4bx is there. So b is there but a is not there so for splitting and you need to take out common so you need a also so what you are going to do let me tell you what you can do first of all 4x square now you can write down this 4bx as 2bx plus 2bx can you write down and here also you need a so let me write down first of all plus 2bx again plus 2bx right and at last minus a minus b a plus b equals to 0 what i had done i had just split this middle term but you need a also you don't have a so what you are going to do? let me tell you so you need to take one time plus 2ax one time minus 2ax so this equation will remain balanced you can see plus 2 minus 2 will get cancelled and you will get this 2bx plus 2bx that is 4a 4bx so i had split this why i had taken 2 that also i will tell you because this is 4x square so perfect square number 2x whole square that's why i had taken 2 okay so this you need to keep in mind now let me take out common but before that first of all i need to make this one term and this need to make as one term this will be your first term second term third term and this will be your fourth so let me tell you what you need to do 4x square plus you can take out 2x common so you will get a plus b now here you need to take out minus 2x common so this sign will change you will get a minus b and here a minus b into a plus b. Now you can see easily I had split the middle. Now directly take out common from this 2. Can you take out? Yes. 2x and this is 4x square. So 2x. So let me take out 2x common. So you will get 2x. Here remainder will be 2x plus a plus b. Right? And here also you can take out this a minus b a minus b and minus also if you want to take out common minus a minus b. so here you will get plus 2x and this will become plus because minus you have taken out common and here a plus b you can see both this remaining factors are equal so you can take out that common so your factors will be 2x plus let me open the bracket a plus b and the second factor will be 2x minus into bracket minus. So I am opening the bracket minus a plus equals to 0. Now these are your two factors. But you don't want factors. You want value of x. So what will be your x here? You take this a and b on that side. So that will become minus a equals to 0 you need to take. So this will become minus a. This will become minus b. And this is 2x. So this 2 will go in the denominator. So 
so you will get x is equals to minus a minus b by 2 and x is equals to this will become plus a this will become minus b on that side and this 2 will go in denominator so these are the values of x so i had solved this by splitting the middle term i am going to solve the same question by quadratic formula also. okay so you can see check this answer now i am going to solve this by quadratic so for quadratic you need a that is 4 b that is 4b and c that is let me open the bracket minus a square plus b square now we are having formula that x is equals to minus b plus under root d also you can write down or under root b square minus 4ac i am directly writing down discriminant because separately i am going to find out the discriminant that's why x is equals to minus b minus under root d by 2 so i am going to find out discriminant here d is equals to or under root d that i will do later is equals to b square minus 4ac so what is your b here 4b whole square you can see this is your b now minus 4 then your a is also 4 and then your c is minus a square plus b square now you can see this will become 16 b square now minus 4 into 4 this will be minus 16 so minus minus plus 16 a square again this minus plus will become minus 16 b square so you can see this 16 b square plus and minus will get cancelled and your d is 16 a square but I told you you need to find out under root d so you need to find out root 16 is the perfect square number so 4a will be your under root d so now directly keep the value minus and b is 4b plus under root d is 4a upon 2 into value of a is 4 so you can take out 4 common in this one minus b plus a upon a you can cancel this one za two za so you will get minus b plus a by two this is your first value of x and here also you need to do the same but minus 4b now minus 4a will come and here 2 into 4 so you can take out minus 4 common but again you need to give that back that's why i'm only taking out 4 common so minus b minus a upon a now again here also you are getting the same answer you can compare your answer by both the method in both the method you are getting the same values of x but i prefer this is little bit lengthy but easier than that one so please whichever method you like you can use but i think this one is easy now moving towards second one this also you can solve by both the method i prefer discriminant method but i am going to solve by both this method let me write down x square plus 5x minus directly i know directly the factors of this will be minus 6 is there so minus 3 plus 2 so the factors will be a plus 3 a minus 2 if you don't know how to directly find out the factors i had also made a video on shortcut to find out in simple question so you can see that now again the same thing splitting the middle term x now here you can see 5 is there and 3 and 2 so directly i can write down plus 3x plus 2x and at last i am having minus a plus 3 a plus okay now here we are having one a so what i have to do one time i have to add one a plus a and one time i have to subtract a so this equation will remain balanced now this will be my first term this will be the second sorry x also you need to keep this will be the third term and this will be the fourth if you will get 
cancel this this will get cancelled that's why only we had kept to make the equation balanced one time positive one time negative now you can take out common if you want to but let me first of all take out common from this one you can take out x common a plus 3 you can take out minus x common so you will get a minus you can see now a plus 3 a minus 2 you can see the same factors you are getting so these are the things that you need to keep in mind guys now take out common x common x plus a plus 3 into bracket now you need to take out this common and minus also you can take out common minus a minus 2 common so here you will get x positive x and this will also become plus a plus 2 so again you are getting the same x plus a plus 3 so here you will get x plus a plus 3 and x minus a minus 2 so i am directly opening the bracket so minus a and this minus minus will become plus so these are your factors now you can find out the value x will be minus a minus 3 equals to 0 and take this on that side so that sign will change here x will be this minus a will go on that side that will become plus a and plus 2 will become minus 2 on that side so these are the two values of x okay guys so this is by factorization now again i am going to solve this by fact quadratic formula so let us solve first we need a b and c a is 1 b is 5 and c you can take this sign also with this so minus a square this minus plus will become minus a and minus minus will become plus six now first of all we are going to find out the discriminant and i am writing the formula x is equal to minus b under root d by 2a and x is equal to minus b minus under root d by 2a so these are the two formulas and let me find out the discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4 is so 5 square minus 4 into 1 into c that is minus a square minus a plus 6 now you need to multiply so here you will get 25 minus minus will become plus 4 a square minus minus will become plus 4 a minus plus will become minus 6 4 is 24 so here you will get 4 a square plus 4 a plus 25 minus 24 will give you 1 now directly i can see this is one quadratic uh, or you can say you can say equation and directly i can say this will be 2 a plus 1 whole square this is your d so your under root d will be directly just you need to cut the square so 2a plus 1 will be your under root d now let us keep this value in this minus and what is your b 5 plus under root d is 2a plus 1 by 2 into a that is 1 okay so let us keep minus 5 plus 2a plus 1 by 2 will give you minus 4 plus 2a by 2 you can take out plus 2 common guys so that will help you minus 2 plus a upon 2 2 2 will get cancelled so this is your first value of x you can compare in previous method also you are getting a minus 2 or minus 2 plus a both are same and here minus 5 minus under root d so directly i am let me write down first of all 2a plus 1 so now i i have to open this and here 2 into 1 so here you will get minus 5 minus 2a and this will be minus 1 by 2 so for minus 5 minus 2 minus 6 minus 2a 
by 2. Take out only two common guys because we can cancel that minus 3 minus a by 2. This 2 2 will get cancelled and you can see here also you are getting the same values as you are getting in the previous type. Okay, so this way guys you can solve this type of sum. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.